Hi, this is T.H. Culhane for Solar Cities. It's Keelian's second birthday today, uh, June 27th on 2010, and we're going to look at a quick and dirty way to convert an engine to run on biogas. This uh, is just a standard 2,000 watt engine. It's a little nicer than some of the others in that it does have a 12 volt output because we would be using this to charge batteries when we use biogas since our quantities of biogas are limited. We run the motor, charge the battery, then use the batteries. So that's a nice feature that this motor has. The conversion kit from US Carburation basically consists of a Venturi device that mounts on the carburetor. And then this allows the motor to run on three different fuels, normal gasoline, and then when that runs out, propane or natural gas. Of course, one can use biogas as a substitute for natural gas and run the engine on that. So, we'll take a look at how that works. And um, we're going to start by uh, removing the air uh, filter that's there. In some of the engines, this bar is in front of this air filter so that it cannot be removed and then you have to cut using a hacksaw. A normal hacksaw will do the trick. You can just cut here and cut here and then the kit comes with caps to cap the bar if you have to cut it. Fortunately on this particular model the bar is far enough away that you don't have to cut it so we won't have to use these caps. So the first step that we're going to do is simply to remove these two lug nuts. And so this is um, first step. Okay. So we take this off. Note that that was mounted here. This piece was here. That comes off. And then we have two more nuts that we have to take off in here. Driver. Here you go. That one there's for you. The saw and the saw. He wants the saw. But we don't have to use the saw on this motor, Keelian, because it doesn't need it. And we take off that part there. Which went in. And there's another bigger nut down here. Can I have the screwdriver, please? No, just for a second. I'll give it right back. I promise to give it right back. Here you go. Thank you. Okay, so that comes off. And then we see the we see the exposed carburetor right here. This is the piece that's going to go on there. This is the basic machine part that does the magic. It's an airflow valve. And we have to look at the manual for a second to see the exact right way to mount it. Front air filter end is this end here it has the ring in it that goes on the front the back is this part here that you can see has the airflow cuts in it <laughs> so this is the back and that's the front it has the smooth part here this has notches in it, and if you can see those on the camera, that notch in there. That's the back end. Yeah. So the first thing that we do is we take this Gasoil premium pipe thread sealant and we spread a thin coat of it on this adapter. And then we take the adapter and we screw it into the bushing like this and make it uh, nice and snug. Let's see. How that works. Maybe it should be a little bit straighter. And that should, uh, that's where the natural gas or the biogas is going to go. And then we take this and we want to mount this onto the carburetor. 
hope that does not interfere with the wheel. Maybe it should go a little bit more like this. And then it may not interfere with the wheel so much. So that's probably a better angle like that. And with that, we then we then note that the holes here are not long enough to screw the filter back on. And so we have these extenders that come with the kit and they will go right on here. Like so. And you want to mount this with the with the butterfly open here, not closed. So make sure that this is open as you mount it. And then we can put this on like so. And then we can put this on as it was. And then we can put this back on. Make sure that this can still open and close properly which it can. Note that now, as we're putting the air filter back on, that this, six, uh, this hose is, note that the hose is now too short. So what we have to do is cut it in half, and the kit comes with a hose extender. So what we do is we just cut the hose that came with the machine in half and we put the included hose extender on and now it's going to fit and what's nice is that it comes with two zip ties to hold it in place so Put that zip tie on, and let's make sure that the hose here is okay. 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 So this pops back in here, and then this goes into the hole of the air filter. You'll have more luck here. Oh, got it. Okay. And that goes into there. So then we put the that back on and tighten this up and replace this part here. Put this here and so it's basically very simple. Uh, as you see, it only took a few minutes and now. This engine will run on gasoline, propane, natural gas, or biogas. A uh, very simple procedure of just putting this particular bushing in between the carburetor and the air filter. Easy to do. Anybody can do it. Try this at home.